And I still been thinking about whether or not I even want to. I want to watch the rest of the Fallout series. After the first episode, I. I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't impressed. I was actually kind of confused on a couple of things. Mainly, I don't know, this one might seem kind of weird, but I didn't know what I should be, how I should be processing what I'm seeing on screen. Like, there's a part of me that's like, okay, this is, this is a movie, or this is a TV show, or whatever, so you watch it like a TV show. But then there were elements of it that, that were hard to swallow in that context. I don't know, it was just... It was weird. It felt like it couldn't decide whether it wanted, whether or not it wanted to be a movie or, sorry, TV show or a video game. I'm not gonna do like a video essay on it. It was just how I feel about it, so. Hey there, need any? Not only that, but like, what the hell was up with Maximus? Sure. I had no idea what the hell I was supposed to be getting from that character. And I don't know if it, it, I don't know what the hell it, it was. Was it the weird ass writing? Was it the, um, was it the actor? Was it the direction that they gave the actor on how to read the lines? Like, I, I, I honestly don't know. I just didn't feel like there was enough for me to want to continue watching it. And I've seen some people say it's it's the greatest video game representation ever seen on the small screen, which is... <laughs> um, I don't consider that to be terribly high praise. I mean, unless they're saying it as a joke. I worry that that's what's going to happen to a lot of video games uh, as far as how they're going to turn into uh, vehicles for mass appeal and as a result they're going to lose what made them popular to begin with what the hell and when that happens it will cease to be what it is that's one of the concerns that i have with the increased popularity in making successful i should say oh you're already dead i didn't even need to do anything with successful video game tv shows and movies more people will tune into it. Well, first of all, the show is going to have to be changed so it's it's able to be understood by somebody who's never played the game because that's what they usually do for broad appeal. And that gives them the opportunity to rewrite certain things when you're introducing people to the lore. So really, it's a matter of whatever politically, whatever way the wind's blowing. Which is another aspect of it that I don't like. Because it interferes with storytelling. It doesn't allow you to tell a good story. Because it's not the primary focus. But even if, even if that isn't a factor. The fact is that the games, or sorry, the show or movie or whatever will... And I'm using this term... Not, I don't mean this in a mean way it's just it, it gets dumbed down well maybe not dumbed down maybe watered down it's just you're you're sanding off some of the edges that make it what it is when you when you do broad appeal and then if any games are made afterwards you're going to have a much bigger audience because they enjoyed the... Holy shit, this is a, a lot of graves. I don't think I've ever been over to this part of it. Wow. But anyway, when new games are made after a successful... Um, after a successful film or TV show or whatever, then the game changes to match what people liked about the TV show, potentially. And when that happens, the product gets strays even further from what it initially was. And sometimes to the point where it is completely unrecognizable. And that can be upsetting for people, in case that wasn't obvious. When you see people messing 
or people's favorite franchises or whatnot getting messed with, it can be very upsetting. Because a lot of times there are changes that they don't, they can't appreciate why they were made. Or maybe there is no good reason in their eyes. I don't know. All I know is that, well, and this isn't something I really know either. I'm pretty sure that Fallout isn't going to improve. In, in my eyes, anyway. The next Fallout game, I predict, will probably be worse than Fallout 4. That is, of course, if the whole franchise doesn't just fly off a cliff in the next season of the show. There's always a possibility, who knows. 